cell phones. Although they do the same job, landlines and cell phones work in a completely different way. Landlines carry calls along electrical cables. What's different about a cell phone is that it can send and receive calls without wire connections of any kind. How does it do this? By using electromagnetic radio waves to send and receive the sounds that would normally travel down wires. In 1947, Bell Labs was the first to propose a cellular network. Bell Labs installed the first commercial cellular network in Chicago in the 70s. In 1973, Martin Cooper of Motorola made the first cell phone call using his 28LB prototype Dyna TAC phone. Cell phones are a bit like two-way radios. A cell phone handset contains a radio transmitter for sending radio signals onward from the phone and a radio receiver for receiving incoming signals from other phones. Because the radio transmitter and receiver are not very high powered, cell phones cannot send signals very far. This is one reason why cell phone masks are necessary. With their huge high powered antennas, they can pick up faint signals from many cell phones and route them onward to their destinations. When you speak into a cell phone, a tiny microphone in the handset converts the up and down sounds of your voice into a corresponding up and down pattern of electrical signals. A microchip inside the phone turns these signals into strings of numbers. The numbers are packed up into a radio wave and beamed out from the phone's antenna. The radio wave races through the air at the speed of light until it reaches the nearest cell phone mast. The mast receives the signals and passes them onto an exchange building from where they are routed onward. Calls made from a cell phone to another cell phone on the same network travel to their destination by being routed to the mast nearest to the destination phone and finally to the phone itself. Calls made to a cell phone on a different network or a landline follows a lengthier path. They have to be routed into the main telephone network before they can reach their ultimate destination.